back to another airport update for Fly KHDX uh, or Allen L. Bean International Airport. Uh, this is, I think this is the, the third airport of the uh, two month interval that I usually do. Um, just because I've got some news and you could probably see in the background, but I'm not going to spoil it. I've just got some news. If you follow my Instagram, you already know what has happened to my airport. It's not bad. I made, I made that sound bad, but uh, you know, you'll, you'll see here in a second. But uh, let's just get started. Um, I, I just want to say again, thanks for 100 subscribers, uh, even though I've kind of already done that, but you know, it, it's always a cool milestone t stone to reach. But uh, okay, well, in front here, uh, first uh, aircraft in this um, pretty big airport update. Um, we have an American 767-300ER that just came back from LHR, or, uh, London Heathrow. Um, it's now just taxiing to its gate. And then right here we have a Delta 767-300ER, uh, landing on the marks. Uh, just came in from Salt Lake City. Here we have the first of the uh, new aircraft that I've gotten today. I might as well just give the news now. I got a, I got seven new models this airport update. Um, they are all old generation models. They have the rolling wheels and they're old aircraft from like the 90s. These are like the 90s models, but I'm perfectly fine with them because they. I now have more aircraft than I do gates, and that was my goal. More commercial aircraft than I do gates. That was my goal. Finally reached it, and I might as well get the news now. American Airlines is no longer the hub for. Oh, excuse me. American Airlines is no longer the hub for Fly uh, KHDX for Allen Albion International. Uh, Southwest Airlines has taken over because I have more Southwest now than I do American. So, but America, American Airlines will still continue routes. The Gates uh, Gates area has just changed for them. Um, oh, so here in front of us we got an Alaskan uh, 737-400 old plane. <laughs> yeah, it just came in from Phoenix Sky Harbor. and er, He came in from Phoenix Sky Harbor, dropped off passengers, picked up passengers, is going to head back to Phoenix Sky Harbor and then uh, out to SeaTac. And then yeah, that's that's the route. All right, for the start of the Southwest routes, uh, there is a lot of Southwest. Five is a big amount for a Herpa collector because Southwest are so rare. But I thankfully got to got four. So this is the one I you saw the last time. This uh, this Southwest 737-300 Lone Star One is going to be heading out to Midway. And right next to it, this Southwest 737-300. In the Arizona One livery is going to be heading out to San Antonio, a very short flight from Houston or Beaumont, wherever my airport's located. Right next to it, uh, getting fueled and uh, cleaners are disembarking as this is about to push back. We have a Southwest 737-300 Silver One is going to be heading out to Las Vegas. And next to it, a uh, Southwest 737-300 in California one is actually pushing back for Houston Hobby. Very, very short flight. Almost a hop. But it's a flight. And last but not least, this is my personal favorite Southwest out of all of them. This is the Southwest 737-300 in the Desert Brown livery. I really like it. Just pulled into the gate, bags are getting unloaded, passengers are deboarding, and this, and this one just came in from uh, Dallas Love Field. And now on to the Delta side. Um, Delta is a focus, uh, this is a focus city airport for Delta, so there's a good amount of Delta that come here. But first of all, we've got an M a Delta MD-88 in the old colors, uh, just uh, is about to, is just staying here overnight. Uh, it came in from Atlanta. It's just staying here overnight. Uh, there's going to be a flight in the morning heading back to Atlanta. And right next to it, right next to it, we got a double Mad Dog Day, I guess. Uh, Del uh, Delta MD88 in the 
old colors, I guess. There's like two old colors. I'm not sure what this one would be called. Um, but this one just came in from Atlanta and is um, getting bags uh, unloaded and the cleaners are going in and there it is going to head back to Atlanta again. Here is the last of my new models. It is a uh, operating for American Airlines even though this registration has sadly, sadly, this is my favorite plane and it's sadly uh, been retired. It's now in Roswell for scrapping but it is a TWA MD-83. Uh, we'll just say it came in from DFW and it's uh, it just came in from DFW and it's getting bags unloaded. Cleaners are going aboard as we speak and this is, again, this is the last of the new models that I have gotten. And the last model on the airport is the American A319. Um, it is just taxiing in to its gate. It just came in from DFW. And it is the final model. The GSC, if you can see kind of over here, are rushing to get to it. Because they are a bit running a bit behind as this has come in almost an hour early surprisingly and that is the airport update I hope you guys enjoyed and this is gonna be a common sight at the airfield now all these uh, southwest models maybe not all of them at one time maybe a couple but you know it, it's still cool to have and again hope you guys enjoyed oh voice <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the airport update. And I'll see you guys in the next one and peace out.